That is the second EMS immediate roll. Previous 1050, 84 West. Oh, damn. Did you see that? I mean, first off, there's something going on on the right side of the road, but over this is in Lone Disc County, Georgia. Check out the air that this lady gets off of this truck ramp, which was supposed to be towing away cars. Apparently, that one got towed away again. Let's listen and watch again because I kind of like the response of that officer, which apparently is the only one who ran to her aid because everyone else was like, that was cool. But listen to him and go, damn. I love that part. Watch again, whole thing. God damn. Uh, let's not forget they're arresting someone on the side of the road. My fault, I thought it was an accident, but there's some folks getting arrested. Hopefully it was lawful. Still, there's a 21 year old woman who's driving that car and miraculously, as well as a passenger, nobody was killed in that devastating accident. We don't know why she didn't see this big ass truck in front of her that she launched off of, but here's some more details, more. Watch again as the car takes off using the back of the tow truck as a de facto runway, then flies 120 feet in the air before crashing to the ground, smashing into another vehicle. Deputies in Loundis County, Georgia were already on location responding to another arrest following a traffic stop along Highway 34. That is definitely not something we see every day as Georgia State Troopers. This morning, officials confirm a 21-year-old woman from Tallahassee was behind the wheel of the car. She survived with serious injuries and is still recovering in the hospital in stable condition. The crash is still under investigation, but all we're worried about is that she heals and uh, that she gets better. A deputy was hit by flying debris and suffered minor injuries and was released from the hospital the same day. Officials are reminding people to remain attentive when traveling at high speeds. Officials remind drivers not to launch themselves off of the back of ramps of tow trucks. By the way, there's a lot going on here, Francesca. As I was watching that ABC News or Good Morning America, I'm sorry, a video and recapping there. There was a car upside down in the middle of, this, of the grass as well. So whoever's getting arrested must have caused a devastating accident. Uh, as we're just going through this, if you guys see it, pause it on it. In the middle of the grass, there's a car with wheels up before she launches a car over it. These folks had a lot to deal with. Watch this, after you see the truck. The guy gets a little bit closer. I'm gonna let you talk, I promise, Francesca. But there's a car that is upside down. Mm. And I think the ABC News report was zoomed in more and it showed it where all those people are collected to the right side next to that Dodge Durango, there's a car on its head. Sorry, go, sorry. Okay, look, I know it's my first instinct is why didn't she see this tow truck? Why didn't she slow down? Was she distracted? I can't believe none of this. Every like a lot of respect to all the stunt doubles and all the you know every Hollywood um you know action sequence cars going off of things and Tom Cruise you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. um, but the reality is why the hell was that tow truck in the left lane? I thought yeah, it was on the shoulder, it. was it? Mm, no, I don't think I don't think you go at that speed on a shoulder. That looks like the tow truck was in their lane. It looks like it was a two lane highway. Mm -hmm. They're in their lane. So that's why they were going that fast. That's what can happen. Thank God the ramp was down oh, instead yeah. of not, because they would have been dead had they hit it with that speed, right? So I'm looking at the glass half full on this one. Well, that no one died? Yeah. Oh, that, that like part. the ramp was down and they flew off of it versus just smacking right into it. And uh, let's keep it real. I assume maybe tow truck driver, some person with them standing in front with that bright yellow reflective jacket on. If you're in that truck and that car comes through, it's not like the truck was unscathed. That car hit the back yep. of that truck as well, the cabin part of that truck as well. A lot of bad things could have happened that thankfully did not happen here. So um, anytime, by the way, this is the weird thoughts I have when I'm driving. I've seen uh, those car carrier trucks with the little ramp on the bottom. There's the upper level and the lower right. level. Right. And I thought I could swing in there. 
I'm a pretty good driver. I'm good at just lining. Just drive up things. in there. You know, when I go to the car wash and they try and line you up with the, the with the wheel barrel, the wheel uh, lines, it looks like mm-hmm. you have trouble with that. The way I mentioned that you dropped your head like you're ashamed of your bad. No, skills. no, no. I am. It's your sort of toxic toxic masculinity, <laughs> Jr. Being like, I could do that, man. <laughs> You I know, because like I'm really good at lying on my name. I feel like I could. I'm probably <laughs> wrong. But when you see something like that, maybe half of your thought is, I can hit it. But I can hit it. She, maybe she fell asleep. Who knows? Either way, she and her 30-year-old passenger were uh, apparently uh, partially minor. They left with minor injuries.